Hello guys, Flying Ditchy here. Welcome back to our tutorial for complete beginners. Last episode we spoke about war and it was only about war. And this episode we will talk about war a bit more, lo bit longer because we are still not done. So uh, I think I'm going to unpause the game um, and see what happens with the the rolls we get. So uh, just click twice on the province when you don't get the siege view. Uh, sometimes you get the other view, the, the the province view, I think. Yeah. And you have to click again, and then you get the seeds view. Uh, we are almost done getting our first roll. We need nine more days to get our first um, siege modifier. And this value goes to 0 to 12. And when we get one of these... Uh, events we can get one siege status two three or another one so a supply shortage gives a plus one food shortage plus two water shortage plus three defenders desert plus one this number will be added to this total this is our dice roll uh, this is if your walls are breached there is a chance that you breach the walls the fourth level the uh, a blockade of the, the fort. We don't have a minus two. We have zero. We don't have artillery. And our leader is having one siege pip. Now let's see what happens. Let's uh, wait these nine days. And in the meantime keep an eye out for Tunis. Oh there we go. It was almost done. One more day. Let's see what this number will be. Status quo. We did not get siege progress. We rolled a 3. I don't know. This song is so loud all the time. It's unbelievable. So we rolled a 3. We have a chance to roll a uh, 1 to 14. Now since we rolled a 3. Nothing happened. Um, we need to roll between a 5 and 11. This number needs to be a 5 to 11. To get a supply shortage. If we have a 12 to uh, 13. Then uh, we have more chance of getting a food shortage modifier. And that will be added in this one. Now let's see what happens in this fort uh, siege. And in the meantime I'm going to select these armies and bring them to the coastline. And prepare for an invasion of uh, Tunis. Let's pause the game. Yeah we did conquer uh, this province now. There's no fort there, so I will uh, move this one over there together with this one. They are not needed there anymore. Um, you could uh, keep them actually in the provinces you conquered. Because when you click on the province, there is a loot bar. Uh, you can loot money from uh, your enemies. And the more armies you put there, the more you loot every month. Now, at the moment we loot 0.1 ducats a month because we have one regiment there. And you can do this when you um, conquer the province. I think. Oh, you can also already loot before you siege the fort down. We are looting right now. As you can see here. Our armies will loot 0 0.4. Because we have 4 regiments. So we get 0 0.4 loot from this loot bar. Out of this province. We also have loot bar in other provinces. because of they are, But they are not getting siege down. So loot stays there but there's a reason that you could uh, keep your armies on the provinces and maybe I will I think I'm gonna let these uh, 1000 units get a bit of money out of these provinces in the meantime so another month has gone let's see what happens with uh, this dice roll over here hopefully we get a high number the first uh, try here let's see what happens no, we rolled a 1. Nothing happened. 1 is too low. And that's how it can take a long time. I will just uh, let the game run. See if we get uh, better luck with the sieges uh, next uh, next time the, the siege... How was it called? The siege phase is done. Now, I don't see uh, Tunis yet. That's good news. Let's combine these uh, troops over here. Uh, I don't know what Tunis is doing. They are not helping uh, their ally. So that's good for us. Uh, we have 15% war score already. 
And the war enthusiasm is already at medium. It's uh, 9 more regions above low. When it is low, you have a bigger chance to peace out. Ah, let's see what this roll is going to do. What do we get? No. Uh, we have a new cardinal. We have now two active cardinals instead of one. It's just a, a bit of a, a chance you can have. The higher the development in your provinces, the higher chances you get a new cardinal there. When you're a Catholic, of course. Uh, some war somewhere else. Now when I go to the papacy and I click on number of cardinals, we now have two cardinals together with England and France. Here you can see uh, where a cardinal should come, where the highest possible chance is. So at the moment, Napoli is having 30.5% to get a new cardinal. Now let's see what happens uh, next uh, day with this uh, roll. What do we get? There we go. We got a 12. And you can see that it's now minus 21% and not minus 35. I think it was 35, yeah. We got a progress of 2. And this clock will go again. And if you roll high again, then maybe this this siege progress will go will go to 3 or 4. And then 6 and then 7. And then at some point, uh, we have a chance to surrender. At the moment, it is still not possible to uh, make this, pro uh, this province surrender. We have a minus 21% chance to uh, win with the highest roll possible. That was a good roll here and we have a bit of progress. Now let's see what happens in this siege when this is over. Now last uh, time we had a disease outbreak. Uh, we rolled a 1 and you can see here, when we roll a 1, there is a 7% chance that we get a disease outbreak. This is very unlucky for us. When you roll really low, you get you have a 7% chance to get a disease outbreak, and we got it. Now, this has no effect on our uh, siege progress, but we lost a lot of men to attrition. Because of the, the disease outbreak, last, uh, the last time we rolled. Here you can see that in... Uh, this event, when we rolled a 12, we had a 14% chance to get a food shortage. And we got it. And that means that we got the food shortage and get an, uh, two more siege progress over here. So it's all chance based. It's not. You, it, it can take years sometimes to conquer a fort and it can also be in a couple of months if you are very lucky. There are modifiers later in the game that can help you. For example, artillery and that kind of things. Now, let's see what for role we get here in this fort. An 8. And we got a supply shortage. So, as you can see here, uh, when you roll between a 5 and an 11, we have a 50% chance to get a supply shortage. And we got it. That means that our siege progress is now added uh, with plus 1. So, minus 42 became minus 35. And this goes over and over and over until you are above zero and then there is a chance to siege the, pro the province. Now, I think I can now uh, let it run. Uh, you guys now know how this works. Um, I think I will keep looking what kind of rolls we get. I think it's uh, funny to know, right? Now, we get a new roll here. And we got a... Not our supply shortage, but it did not lower our progress, I think. Still minus... F oh no, it needed to update. Minus 21 is now minus 14. Now, we have now a very high chance that we roll uh, 5 or higher. And get a modifier. Because uh, there is... The, the further we get, the more chance there is that we roll good enough... To get a event. There's a 50% chance we roll a 5. Between a 5 and an 11. That's, and that's correct. Because uh, 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 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Are 7 chances. And 1, 2, 3, 4. And 12, 13 and 14. Are also 7 chances. Uh, chances. So there is a 50% chance we will roll. Between a 5 and 11. And that we get a supply shortage. 
Now we cannot roll a 20, so we have a 0% chance still to make this province surrender. Uh, when we roll a 16, or 17, we can roll a 17 here, because we have a plus 1 uh, leader siege modifier. Over here we don't have it, so... Oh wait, we can roll a 19 here, why is that? No, we can't, no we can't. Uh, we have a minus 1 total here, so the highest... Uh, number we can get out of here is 15. If we roll a 16 and all the modifiers, minus 1 is a 15. And uh, at the moment, 15 is not even listed. There is no, no event for a 15. But we cannot get the defender's desert because we need to roll a 16 to 19. And that is not possible. If we had artillery, then there was a chance we could roll a defender's desert event. And remember, the Defender's Desert event is a plus one siege bonus. The water shortage is perfect for us. If we can get a water shortage, we get a plus three. And we have a 7% chance to get a water shortage. We need to roll a 14. Over here, we need to roll a 14 or a 15, which is a 14% chance. It's all chance based. I hope it's clear how that works. And I hope that you understand what attrition does to your armies. Uh, don't siege with uh, too many armies. There is no need for it. You lose all your manpower and you need to wait longer for your next wars. Now, next month goes by. We make a bit more money. We make more manpower. Now let's see what we roll here. We rolled a 1 minus 1. We rolled a 0. Did we get another disease outbreak here? I don't know. But nothing happened. Because we rolled a zero. So we did, we don't even have a disease outbreak here. We had a water shortage here. Because we rolled a 12. Minus 1 is 11. Plus 1 is a 12. We rolled a 12. And that was a water shortage. Now we have a 7% chance to uh, win the siege. Let's update it. We now have a 7% chance to conquer this fort. When we roll... Uh, very high. This number gets added as well. I think. I think we now have a 6, 7, 6 plus 12 is 18. If we would roll an 18, we get a Defender's Desert event. So at some point, when uh, you get a couple of uh, uh, modifiers here, it will be easier to siege the rest of it. The, the longer it takes, the easier it is to uh, siege down a fort. Now, you can see that uh, over here, you, you see this these uh, flames and stuff. That means that it's uh, going the right way. We are already having a chance to siege down the province. Um, what is this again? Yeah, there is a chance that we will have a walls breach modifier. It gives a plus three to the roll. It's also random. Uh, I don't think there's a walls breach here. I think it's totally random. And when the walls are breached, you can also assault the fort. Now, I'm not going to do that because it's very costly. But uh, when the option is there, I will show you uh, how that is possible and how it works. You also need to watch out because when we siege this fort down, this fleet will come out of the port and attacks this 11,000 troops. A uh, uh, fleet of 11,000. So they have more boats than I do. So I'm going to actually uh, put this fleet over here. And prepare for that to happen. We will lose our modifiers for this fort. This will go back to minus 42 I think. Minus 49 actually. But I think it's uh, safe to do this. It's more safe. We will wait for their navy to get out of the dock. Now Morocco is still uh, attacking Tlemcen. Tunis is nowhere to be seen. They are not sending their troops to me. Maybe the AI is afraid for my fleet. Now, it will be harder now to get progress here because we now have a minus two to our roll because we are not blocking the port. It's going to be really hard. You can see we don't, have, we don't even have a chance for a water shortage or a defender's desert event. Into a really high roll to get something out of it. Now, and we did roll high. We had an 11. 
have you got a supply shortage? Uh, plus two to our total roll here. And that's good. Uh, what happened over here? We had a two. That is a too low of a roll. We had seven. Eight, seven, nine, I think. Yeah, have we got a supply shortage? It's now impossible to not get progress in this fort. As you can see, um, the lowest we can roll is seven, eight, seven, seven. It's seven. Because we have seven plus one minus one. And if you roll a zero, I think you can roll a zero, right? Or can you only roll a one? You can only roll a one. So we have seven, eight, seven, eight. When we roll a eight, we get supply shortage. So from this point on, when this uh, goes, uh, when this completes, we get progress. So it's not going to take long before we get this uh, this fort. This one, on the other hand, we still have a couple of zero percent chances. So it's going to take a bit longer. This one will be sieged uh, in two or three months, I think. And then the fleet will attack my fleet. Uh, some wars in Bosnia and Hungary. Hungary took some Bosnian provinces, I think. I did, I did not even reach that uh, that message. In the meantime, we are looting a bit over here. We are looting over here, so we get a bit more income. Uh, the looting foreign cities is plus 127 a month at the moment. Also, blockading foreign ports gives you money, apparently. I did not even know that. But it's really low. Now, let's see what we get here. We will get progress. There is no chance uh, of us not getting progress. Because we, even when we roll 1, we get progress. So let's see what happens. Maybe we roll a 20 or 21, and then we win the siege immediately. And we are lucky. We rolled a 20 or a 21, and that made us uh, get the siege of this fort. So, congratulations. We now got the capital of Granada, and we have the Wargol. Do you see this bar now? Green, totally fully green. That means that we got the Wargol, and that we can now get a ticking war score. At the moment, it is zero. Wargol attacker controls Granada plus 0.0. .0. Every month we will now get a bonus. At the moment we have 24 war score for occupying Granada and the capital. And we got one war score from the provinces with a fort. So you can see it's very important that you conquer provinces that are having a fort. Provinces that don't, that don't have a fort only give one war score. So very nice we won the we won the battle you can see the fleet is now forced out of the dock and they are gonna attack my fleet now they do have an admiral of a zero fire one shock to maneuver it's not too too great it won't help them that much and uh, let's see how that goes with the naval battle um, I'm gonna keep the army over here for now so they can loot a bit more And now we need to wait for uh, this siege to complete. Now what I can do now is send my uh, siege general, Enrique, with the one siege pip, to this army and get the bonus. I'm going to send Enrique to this province and we get a plus one modifier. Now let's see how this uh, naval battle go. There we go, the first ships arrive. These will, these will arrive on the 2nd of June. Let's wait for these as well. There we go. Naval combat, 22 to 13. I'm not an expert in naval combat. Um, I only know that uh, the more engagement with you have, the better. Uh, the engagement with will uh, decide how much uh, fleet, how much um, ships can uh, fight at the same time. And over here you can see the four types of fleets. You can see that the galleys of the enemy, if they would have it, they don't have any. They're zero out of zero. They would fight better here because this is an inland sea. Uh, we also have no galleys. We have three heavy ships, nine light ships and ten transports. Now why is this one uh, in reserve? I don't know actually. Because we do have a combat width of 27. So 27 ships should be able to fight immediately. Maybe it's because a heavy ship counts for 2. Oh no, 3. There we go. 
I am learning something, guys, in the tutorial. Isn't that great? The heavy ship has an engagement width of 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 9 is 18, because this one is having an engagement width of 1. And the transport also 1. That makes 27. So almost our full fleet can fight. There is one transport that f doesn't fit in the engagement width. And he is not fighting right now. And the same counts for uh, Granada. They do have a huge modifier. They have uh, a leader with uh, two pips of maneuver. You can see here. Shock 1, maneuver 2, siege 2. So with the two maneuver, they can increase the engagement width. And that is actually very, ha very helpful. So they can have 32 ships fighting against my 27. But they only have 13 ships. So all the ships are fighting on their side. And almost all the ships are fighting on my side. I have one in the reserves. And the rest is uh, fighting right now. Um, I don't know how... Um, the ships are fighting each other. But here you can see... Uh, the Granada information. And their ships. And this is my information. This is the border... Of my information and the Granada information. Here you can see, I think, how... Uh, damage the ships are our ships are now at 98 97 100 198 and this is our ship in the reserve i think that is not green these are their ships they are at 100 95 96 98 so it's it's going our way already um this is how many ships you are capturing. There's a 2% chance that you uh, capture your enemy ships instead of sinking them. Uh, there is a base of the Admiral's maneuver skill. We have no chance. We are not going to capture any ships. Granada can capture ships because they have a 2 maneuver uh, Admiral. Enemy ships with low morale may also be captured after the battle. So when the battle is gone, you can also capture ships of your enemy. Now, let's uh, let the game run and see what happens. There are, of course, the rolls again. It would be nice to see which phase this is. Can I see it somewhere? No? I don't think so. Dire for this side in this phase. Yeah, but which phase are we? The shock or the fire? I don't think there is any uh, difference in shock and fire phases for naval uh, battles. But I don't know. Naval battles are not really important. You just want more ships than your enemy and better morale and, and better technology. So let's see what happens here. You can see it going down. Uh, they rolled... Okay, we are now in the shock phase apparently. Because uh, their leader rolled the one shock. Plus eight is nine. Against my three. So we are going to get some damage now. But we are still winning. Now we are in the fire phase. They rolled one higher than me. And let's have a look at our ships here. 94%. 89 is the lowest I think. They are uh, having a couple of ships below 80%. So also their morale is going down, down quicker than ours. So let's keep fighting. When a ship dies, you will see a minus one or a minus two coming up above uh, the navies. The same for your armies. We'll just let this run. It looks like we will uh, not lose that many ships. And the enemy decides to retreat. You can also retreat from battles and uh, naval engagements. You can do this after 12 days. If I remember correctly. If you, for example, are fighting against a big nation and, and France is coming with 30,000 troops and you have 15,000, you want to select the army and try to right-click on a province far away because you want to go away. You want to retreat from the battle because otherwise you're going to lose more men than needed. You cannot do this immediately. You need to wait, I think, 12 days before you can retreat. It also counts for your navy. You need to go through uh, four phases, two fire and two shock phases, before you can retreat. Now, after a battle is over, you get the prestige modifiers again, we get a bit more prestige. We get navy tradition this time, instead of army tradition. Uh, we will talk about that later. 
and Granada gets a bit more war exhaustion. Here you can see that Granada lost two ships, he is now having seven and four. We did not lose anything, and we also did not capture any fleets. So, that was the naval battle. Now they are retreating, I think they are going to retreat to the fort in Malacca. There we go. They are. I'm going to send my fleet back to a port. I can also send them over here. I now control this, this fort. So I can uh, send my fleet to this port to, to make them repair. Uh, you can see that some of our fleets, uh, our heavies are not having any damage. But uh, my light ship here is having 78%. And I want this uh, back to 100% before I will engage um, this fleet again. So I'm going to send my uh, fleet to the port, to a friendly port. Now you can see the hammer indication here. They are going to get repaired. Every monthly tick, the first of the month, we get 10% extra. So on the 1st of July. Oh, and Morocco pieced out. And I think Morocco took all of this. So Morocco is becoming stronger. Which is not good for us, because we want to uh, attack uh, Morocco at some point. So, let's wait for the 1st of July, and we should get 88% here. And also we get uh, some more sailors. Some sailors died in the battle. We have 39 out of 50 sailors. And we will get those from our sailor man pool. And now 88%. I'm going to go to 98% uh, for this ship, and then I will send them to the Gibraltar sea tile. So we have a... Um, so we get rid of this penalty, the blockade penalty, and we have more chance to progress the siege rolls. What I also can do is attack the 4000 fleet here. There are 4000 transports sitting here doing nothing. I don't know why the AI is doing it. It's very tempting to attack this uh, this fleet here. Uh, Granada now is uh, actually blockading my ports. You can see here. And I think that could give us some devastation. Yeah, we're not going to talk about devastation right now. But it's very bad. I mean, the word devastation tells you enough, right? It's devastating. It's very bad. Now we have minus 14% here. We are... Uh, actually progressing with our rolls. Okay. Now we have one boat at 98%. The rest is at 100. And I'm going to try to attack this 4000. I think they're going to run away. But let's see. So we will arrive on the 3rd of August here. In the Gulf of Almeria. There we go. We are now arriving on the 10th of August. In the Straits of Gibraltar. You can see this uh, naval battle icon here. And we will get a crossing penalty apparently. What does that mean? Crossing penalty. Is it because we are crossing the strait here? This is also new for me. But let's uh, let's fight them. Yeah, they are trying to run away, but they will be too late. The 13th of August, we have the 10th. So we will have a battle. There we go. Uh, and that means that all my ships are actually firing at these, I think. So... They should get a lot of damage very soon. And here you can see when you can retreat. It's not possible, nor would it be honorable, to retreat from a battle in the first 12 days. So you need to stay in a battle for 12 days. So I was actually correct about that one. You can see that we are doing a lot of damage here. They are now red. The morale is at 0%. They will try to disengage. You are purple. And there we go. The morale was gone of the navy in the first 12 days. So we stack wiped their fleet. We can also stack wipe a fleet. We also stack wiped the Granada army. Because in the first 12 days we would stack wipe the 5000. Maybe you remember it from the last video. We did the same with our navy. So uh, And we captured actually one ship. We killed four and we captured one of them. So now we have 11 transports instead of 10. And that transport is listed over here. The Muhammad V. 
it's the Muslim name, right? We have uh, Spanish names for our ships. You can also name your ships, by the way. <laughs> you can. If you want to be, if you want to be that guy, just do it. Uh, but yeah, we have an extra ship. That means that we are over our force limit, maybe. Let's have a look. That doesn't, not. Yeah, we are one over our naval force limit. Being over your naval force limit is not a big deal. You don't pay that much for your navy. See? Now we are over our force limit, so we pay 0.19 extra for one transport. That is a lot of money for one transport. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete him. So the woohoo ship here. I will disband the unit. There we go. I don't know if you can sell ships, by the way. C can you sell ships without DLCs? I don't think so. No, you cannot sell ships. Let me write this down. I think selling ships is a nice feature. You can sell your, uh, your ships you conquered to certain nations. So sell ships. Which DLC do you need for that? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to... Uh, do a bit of repairs again. I mean, we don't have. We only have to do it for one uh, month. Then we have it 100%. Then this hammer should go away. There we go. Our fleet is now repaired. And look who's there. Hello, Tunis. Do you want to die? Right click. I'm going to attack his army. Uh, I mean his navy. And see what we can do over there. Uh, he is not having any galleys. He is only having one light ship and nine transports. That's going to be an easy battle. And he's trying to run away. He is trying to run away on the 13th of September. And we arrived on the 10th of September. So we will be first. And we will have a battle. There you go. 10 ships fighting. 21 ships with a width of 27. Because our heavies are 3 with. I don't even have to look that we are going to win this battle. We of course are going to win this one. And they are going to run away very soon. There we go. Uh, we killed one ship. Oh well. Now one ship is at 97, 99%. Let's quickly go back to our dock. So on the first of the next month my ships are repaired. And I will, I think, send some of my troops to Tunis. It is risky though, but I think I'm going to do it. There we go. Our ships are now repaired. And I'm going to send my ships to this port here. And I'm going to load my army. And try to land them in Tunis. Now how many troops does Tunis have right at the moment? Uh, Granada has zero. We know that. Tunis has 2000 cavalry, 8000 infantry. Okay, that's going to be perfect. Because in this fleet we have 10 transports, so we can uh, transport 10 regiments. How do you do this? You can select your army and click the Attach to Transport button. Now when I click on my navy and send them out, the game automatically transports 10 regiments. They pick a random amount of troops. And what did they do in this situation? They split the army down in two. Seven Infantry, three cavalry, and that's good. Well, actually, it's not good. Remember that cavalry is stronger. So what I'm going to do is make an army of five infantry and five cavalry. And give this the leader, the good one with uh, siege and fire pips. Send them on the ship and land them in Tunis. So let's go to Tunis. In the meantime, we are still sieging down this province over here. And pass the game again. Pass, unpass. You do it the whole time. Passing, unpassing. When we arrive here, we can see the coastline. So we see that their army is sitting here in the highlands. So we don't want to attack them over here. It will be a 10 versus 10 battle. And he will have uh, bonuses. Because we are fighting as the attacker in the highlands. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to uh, land my troops on his capital.
There's some fleet of him here. Uh, apparently we are going to get a battle. Oh, it's a battle between someone else. There we go. I'm going to click on my 10 units and I'm going to land them in Tunis. We're going to try to siege down his capital fort of level 1. There is a 23 supply, so we won't get attrition from being over the supply. But we will get a bit of attrition because we are going to siege down the fort. So we get 1% over our 10,000 troops. Now we do have a pop-up here. And we are going to talk about this in the next episode. Because it's uh, been a long one again. In the next episode we will uh, continue the war in Tunis. And we will take a look at what this means. So... Please uh, like the video and I hope to see you in the next part. Bye bye.